Whenever you are calling the patient by name, just use the surname. Don't call it by first name. The first name, if you know the patient, and then if you create a rapport, and then you can call it by first name. Call him by first name. And if you forget the name in between, just call him sir or madam. Yeah? Don't uh, look at the task again wasting time. Okay, this is my GMC number. I must do the task. Shall I proceed? Thank you. Mr. Chair? Clark. Hello, Mr. Clark. And Dr. Moon, one of the doctors in the department. I'm here to examine your legs. I heard that uh, you have some pain in your legs. Is that right? Yes. I know which leg is. Right, right. Okay. Uh, for the purpose of examination, you need to undress below the waist. And uh, I, you can stay in your briefs. And I'll ensure adequate privacy and ask my examiner to find you. Is that right? Okay? I'll be verbalizing my findings to the examiner, so can you be with me, Mr. Clark? Mm, on inspection, I couldn't appreciate any shininess on the skin, any loss of fat, any pigmentation, any obvious ulcers. I couldn't appreciate any discharge, any redness, any scars, sinuses, or swellings. Uh, could you please bend your uh, knee joint for me, both the knee joints? I couldn't appreciate a, any redness, any scars, any swelling, any sinus, any ulcer, the posterior aspect of the leg as well. Could you please extend both your legs? Thank you. Could you please fan your toes? Thank you. I couldn't appreciate any fungal infection between the digits. I couldn't appreciate any ulcers on the pressure areas. Uh, can you please uh, lift your legs? Yes. I couldn't appreciate any ulcers over the back of the legs. I couldn't appreciate the same on the opposite limb as well. Now I'll be uh, gently touching you, uh, Mr. Clark, for the purpose of examination. If there is any discomfort at any point, kindly let me know. Is that okay? okay? I couldn't appreciate any localized rise in temperature. No, I'm really sorry about that. Are you okay? Yes. Shall I continue? Yes. I couldn't appreciate any tenderness on both the legs, on the anterior aspect. Could you please? Bend your legs for me, both the legs. I couldn't appreciate any localized rise in temperature on the posterior aspect of both the legs. Uh, now I'll be touching a bit deep, is that okay? <coughs> I couldn't appreciate any localized tenderness on the posterior aspect of the leg. Could you please extend both the legs? Thank you. <coughs> Now I'll be pressing your big toe a bit. If there is any discomfort, let me know. Four seconds. Capillary filling test is abnormal on the left side of the leg. Uh, ideally, I'll do the Burgess test as well. Now I'll be raising your uh, left leg. Tell me if there is any discomfort, okay? I look for blanching in the foot. It's clear. Uh, Mr. Vishal? Mr. Clark. Mr. Clark, I'll be uh, putting your foot <coughs> beneath the couch. Tell me if there is any discomfort, okay? I'll look for re flushing. Okay. Burgess test is positive in my patient in the left leg. Thank you, Mr. Vishal. Thank you, Mr. Clark. Uh, now I'll be uh, listening, uh, I'll be uh, feeling for your pulse, is that okay? Okay. I could appreciate the femoral um, pulse, could you please bend your both the knees? I could appreciate the popliteal pulse. Appreciate the dorsal spheres, medial malleolus. I could appreciate the posterior tibial artery. Could appreciate the posterior tibial artery in both the legs. Now I'm going to listening to your uh, tummy. Is that okay? Femoral bruising. Ah. I could, I could not appreciate any femoral beat. Thank you, Mr. Clark. You have been very cooperative. Now you can dress up. Ideally, I'll complete my examination by measuring the anterior brachial pressure index and also doing a Doppler. My most, mm -hmm. if the examiner asks about the diagnosis, tell that he's having uh, peripheral vascular disease. Mm -hmm.
would be atherosclerosis, embolic, anything. Okay.